The cardiology service offers a variety of interventional uh, catheter-based procedures. Um, and essentially what that means is instead of going into body cavities to do heart surgery, we go in through vessels in the neck or vessels in the leg, um, and we perform these minimally invasive procedures. And they're great for dogs and cats. Most of those patients are puppies and kittens. Um, and the really nice thing about those procedures are that the patient will come in, they'll have the procedure the next day, and then they'll go home the day after with just a little incision on the neck or on their leg. So the morbidity is, is really minimal because we're um, doing these so non-invasively. So there are congenital heart defects that these animals are getting, so they're born with them. Um, and so these are, are abnormalities that require one an echocardiogram often chest x-rays echocardiogram electrocardiography certain diagnostic tools to help diagnose what is exactly happening um, and then once we make that diagnosis more in the in the cardiology suite with the echocardiogram then we move to the the catheter lab so that we can actually do more diagnostics if we need more complex angiography or something to help um, delineate where the abnormality is, then we can go and do that procedure um, in the cath lab and hopefully help them and improve their quality of life. Storage is a huge issue. We have all of our catheters into kind of portable um, standalone cabinets, um, but that's overflowing. It limits our capacity to do procedures in a short time frame because we can't keep things in stock because we don't have the physical space. Um, the personnel space, so in that room, even though it's the largest of the ORs, it's still not big enough for the number of people that we're trying to ta train, as well as the people that we have in there supporting us. So anesthesia, our uh, cardiology technician, we're again, always kind of jockeying for space. And we'll have more room and space for training of our cardiology residents of which we have four cardiology residents. Um, we teach interns and students, so we'll have much more capacity to take care of, of more patients and accommodate the, the room for the students and for the training and all the trainings. Currently, we're, our space is so confined that they have to be outside in the hallway, looking in through the window, and so they miss a lot of the, 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 the live interaction and troubleshooting that, that occurs during these procedures. So it'll be great too because there's also huge screens you'll be able to see when, when you see the building. Um, in the cath lab there's large monitors that different students can stand in different areas so that they can see the procedure live. A lot of it is we, we've identified the abnormality uh, at an appointment time prior to that. We've used that time to figure out what surgical procedure is possible and what do we need to do ahead of time to prepare for that procedure? Uh, but there's a lot kind of within the cath lab itself where we're like, okay, well now we need to perform these different diagnostic tests to figure out are we happy with the equipment that we chose before we, um, or like with the appointments prior to the procedure. Uh, so there is a lot of prep work, but then within the procedure itself, there is some diagnostic um, assessment that needs to occur. And the unit that we have from Phillips uh, is going to allow us basically to do that at a whole other level. So to integrate a lot of that imaging information beforehand and look at it in combination with what we're doing in real time, I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs>